Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today we're gonna talk about some exercises to help reduce neck pain risk. Uh, things that make our life easier, like our cell phones, our computers, our tablets, um, unfortunately play a toll on our spine, our neck, our shoulders, primarily because uh, we don't always use the best posture ergonomically. Uh, a lot of times we're looking down, our head is forward, and it causes a lot of strain. And the muscles of the neck and upper back are expending a lot additional energy just to kind of hold our head up. Uh, so that the workload is increased on those muscles. And it could, like I said, take a toll. Uh, so I'm gonna give you some basic stretches you can do for your neck and your shoulders. Obviously, um, lifestyle change, ergonomic changes will play a big role as well. Um, also when we sleep, you know, the right position of our head and our neck and the proper pillow also play a role. So there's a lot of different things that, that kind of contribute, but I wanna just give you some simple stretches to help prevent uh, neck pain. Research has shown that people with neck pain, 60% or greater, have what we call a forward head posture, which means that when we look at you from the side, your shoulder, okay, your head comes forward like this, um, you know, to varying degrees. And the further it comes forward, the, the more stress or load on those muscles to hold it upright. So we wanna help reduce the tension in those muscles by doing some simple stretches. Um, and just general mobilization of the head and neck daily is good as well. But if you are spending a lot of time at a desk, uh, you have a sedentary uh, job, um, or you're spending a lot of time on your phone, uh, these simple stretches can help. First thing we wanna do is we always wanna maintain good posture with any stretch or exercise. Once we're, we have our good posture, our shoulders are back, our chest is up, our head's looking forward. Well, the first stretch I'm gonna give you is we're gonna reach around with your hand and just stretch your head over. Now be careful not to bring your whole body over because then it defeats the purpose. Sometimes it helps with the opposite arm or hand to hold underneath the chair so you can really get a stretch through those muscles. And with all the stretches, you can hold between 10 to 15 seconds. We always wanna do it both sides bilaterally so we have symmetry. The same thing on this side. So just simply with good posture, just stretching those neck muscles. We could also come down by pulling on the back of the head, bring your chin toward your chest, towards the left and then towards the right, okay? Another thing you can do is just go through some simple range of motion where you tuck your chin down, you extend your head back, you rotate to the left, you rotate to the right, and we tilt to the left and the right, just general mobilization or even small gentle circles. Nothing um, where you're, you're snapping or jerking the neck forcefully uh, because that can do more damage if you're not trained on which bones you need to get moving properly or which bones are stuck or out of alignment. Uh, so those are some st simple stretches that you can do for the head and neck. What also plays a big role in um, neck pain is the chest muscles as well as the shoulder muscles. So we always wanna stretch our pec muscles. One of the ways you can do that is either just by externally rotating your arm like this, okay, and looking away, or if you have like a door frame, you can put your lower part of your arm, you form in the door, and you're just gonna move your body away. So you stretch across the chest here. Again, both sides is always very important. You could also use a towel, a band. Um, there's lots of different ways to stretch the, the chest muscles, but you do wanna stretch those muscles. In regards to the shoulder muscles, one of the big player in, in, in neck pain is external rotation. So what that means is with your arm in this position, we're bringing our hand backwards away from our body, kind of like you're a baseball pitcher throwing a ball. Okay, so just stretching those muscles like that. Okay, you can use a dumbbell, you can use a band, a towel. All these things are gonna help you stretch your chest, pec muscles, as well as your external rotators of the shoulders, which play a, a huge role in neck discomfort and posture as well. One of the biggest ones that I tell my patients to do is a chin tuck. So we're basically mirror imaging or reversing uh, the forward head posture by standing up nice and tall and just tucking our chin like this. Again, holding 10 to 15 seconds. That does a few different things. It stretches the muscles of the neck and the upper back, but it also strengthens as well um, if you're holding that position. Now, if you'll feel pain with any of these, you don't go that far. You go right, if you feel pain, you ease up a little bit. You always listen to your body, very important. So we're stretching the neck muscles, we're stretching the pecs, we're stretching the external rotators of the, sh the shoulders, we're doing our chin tucks. Um, all these are gonna help with kind of helping to prevent 
any type of injury or neck pain. Uh, again, especially if you're doing a job where you're sitting at a computer, you know, eight to 10 hours in your home on your phone, um, all bring your head forward into that flexed forward position, which is horrible for the muscles of the neck, the blood vessels, the neck, uh, the nerves all get stretched. Um, and then just as a general rule, um, some research has shown that by just being physically active, it could just be walking, uh, moving around, uh, not just staying in one position, that is shown to have, um, through the research, um, a, a decreased amount of people suffer with neck pain if they're more physically active. And it doesn't have to be rigorous exercise, it could just be movement, uh, simple walking, moving around the house, uh, going for a walk on a nice day like today. All those things are gonna play a big role. Of course, if none of these things are alleviating your neck pain, please give us a call. We're here and happy to help. Uh, we do our best to get people out of pain as fast as possible. We don't want you coming in uh, on long-term treatment programs. Um, usually just a few visits is needed, uh, depending upon the case, to get you the results you're looking for. Any questions, shoot me a message, give me a call. I'm here and happy to help. Hopefully you enjoy your beautiful day, and we will talk to you next time. So long. Have a great day.